Welcome to Skip's Quick Tips. Today we'll be looking at autocorrect and replace in Microsoft Office products such as Word and PowerPoint. Autocorrect has been around for a long time in the word processor. It's an automatic function, as the name implies, that allows you to type abbreviations or misspellings and have them automatically corrected. The replace feature is a related feature which is manual in nature and it's a great tool for note-taking purposes where you can quickly generate an abbreviation on the fly and use that when you're typing instead of typing out the full uh, text. Then once you're done with your note-taking session or your writing session you uh, simply do a replace and replace all those instances of the short abbreviation with the fully expanded text. We're going to switch over to Microsoft Word here and first take a look at the autocorrect feature. So if you've ever switched letters uh, when you're typing, maybe typing too fast, uh, you'll notice that Microsoft Office automatically corrects that. It keeps a long list of common misspellings and keyboarding errors in the autocorrection. So here in uh, this first sentence, individuals with speech or language difficulties may use augmentative and alternative communication. That's a phrase I type a lot uh, in the nature of my work, but I don't actually type very often. Instead, I've programmed in a keyboard shortcut where I use the abbreviation with a special accent mark. That helps me keep it from uh, replacing the wrong things. And then when I hit a spacebar or punctuation, it expands it to the full phrase. Get rid of that space there. In order to do this, we're going to click in any product you're in, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. You're going to click on the File menu and go down to the bottom to where it says Options. And this is a proofing feature in Microsoft Office. So when we click Proofing, Autocorrect Options is the first thing that we see here. All we have to do, quite simply, is replace, tell it what our abbreviation is. So like I said, I always use the accent mark to the left of the one key on my top row of the keyboard. And we're going to put AT for assistive technology. And I hit the tab key and I'm going to type out the phrase as it's spelled in actuality. Now if this was capitalized, I could use capitalization as well. The other nice thing about using the accent mark is you see it keeps a running log uh, sorted of all the things that I've added in to my personal list. So we could continue adding these while we're in here, but one's good enough for now. We'll click OK and we'll OK out of this window as well. So now we've added our new abbreviation to put it to use in this next sentence. Type it and hit ending punctuation. The replace feature as I mentioned is similar but this is one I use a lot during note-taking situations. Since uh, these are created on the fly, it is a good idea to jot these down on a scrap of paper at the top of a notebook page, just so that um, I'm reminding myself to use these exactly as they're, they're written. So I looked up at the teacher's notes on the board and saw George Washington appeared a number of times, Great Britain, uh, uh, appeared a couple times and the Continental Congress uh, also showed up. So in my notes I use those abbreviations throughout. Now all we have to do for the replace feature is here on the home ribbon in the edit grouping is our replace function or you can use the keyboard shortcut control H uh, shortcut. Uh, I use that quite a bit so it's a handy one to remember. We'll go ahead and hit replace, and now we just tell it replace accent mark GW with George Washington. And because that string doesn't occur anywhere in any other English words, I can safely click replace all. Okay, going to do the same thing with GB. I'm just using the tab key to jump from the top field to the replace with field. Replace all. Okay. And Continental Congress. I didn't include the article before, so I'm going to do that now. The Continental 
Congress. Replace all. guess I used the wrong mark there. <laughs> so that's a good instance of if you don't type it exactly as uh, you did each time, uh, it won't replace it. But I hope that helps. It's a really useful feature and I think it can come in hand for a lot of the students who are struggling to keep up with, with keyboarded notes in class. I look forward to uh, having you visit next time. Take care.